Well, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day out here. Some beautiful islands that were being um, surrounding us. And right now, you got, I'm assuming, the local children in these little tiny boats just playing out there. And then every so often they'll get really close to the boat and they'll scream out, money, throw me money, throw me money. But they just keep circling the boat. But yeah, so we got an excursion on the island to go and uh, do a two hour excursion where we walk around with the park ranger. Now you can't get off the ship unless you have an excursion just because it's a protected area. It is um, like a national preserve. So, Right now we're um, going to be doing tender. We already got the boats lined up for us. And you can see way back there, way in the back, is where we'll go from the ship onto land. The rangers will be waiting for us up there. We have the first um, excursion. We're only here for like four hours or so. Um, so we have the first excursion. Um, it'll start at one o'clock. So we have about 20 minutes of viewing this beautiful weather and this beautiful scenery before we have to get downstairs and get on the boat. Super excited because these dragons, apparently the largest lizards in the world, and they'll just track in, they smell blood from a very far distance away. They're fast little creatures, they, they climb trees, they swim, and they're fast on the ground. So yeah, they said we had to stay with the tour group and that's why you, could ha you have to have an excursion to be on here because they need to preserve the safety of the the animals and make sure you're safe. If you have people just wandering around, there's a good chance that some people aren't gonna make it back to the boat. But yeah, surrounded by all these beautiful islands. Let's take a look at a little bit of the scenery. So I'm gonna give you a look and then I'm gonna head downstairs. So we just got off the tender. We are officially on Komodo Island. And it is hot. I even just appropriately and still burning up. So we're gonna start the tour. Just follow along and enjoy. Let's go find some Komodo dragons. see my first Komodo dragon. It was underneath the building. <laughs> Getting shade because apparently I already ate this morning. The thing is huge, very long. I of course saw my very first deer out here on the island. It seems very comfortable out here, not scared apparently. The Komodo they don't like so hot. Also, they don't like so cold. <laughs> Look like us. They have to need on that time uh, stay under the, the tree or under the ranger's house. In Komodo National Park, there is one village, about 30 minutes from here by boat, behind the, the corner. And then uh, the total of population for the Komodo village, 1,800 people. So we just passed some Komodo poo. Already powdered, they said they could eat about 60 pounds of meat, roughly, in about 17 minutes. That's crazy. That's a bone and everything. Oh, it's hot. I'm not trying to talk too loud because I said to keep quiet. So just enjoy the trek. 
we took the long way. So apparently during the rainy season, when you're out here, you have chances to see a spitting cobra and three different types of vipers. So, very dangerous, not only the Komodo dragons, but you have to worry about poisonous snakes out here. And the heat, of course. And then you'll see them with those sticks. It has like a little Y at the end. And that's what they use to move the Komodo dragons around if they get too close. So it's their weapon of choice, a stick with a Y at the end. Very cool. This national park is including four islands. This Komodo Island, Rincha Island, Gilimotang, uh, and Nusakode. The Komoragan live on four islands. So why the, the population is uh, down, the low, the less, because Komoragan, they are cannibal animal. So mama eat the baby, also the big one eat small one, and then young one eat the baby one. They eat each other. That is crazy. So they don't care besides having sex. They don't discriminate. They eat you, they eat their buddies, their best friend. They eat. That's crazy. Oh, let's continue the trip. So we're having fun trekking along. They said a lot of the Komodo dragons are hiding at the moment because of the heat. They like to um, go to shade. So they'll come out in the morning and more in the evening. And it's nice and cool. So right now you don't see too many. So right now we're just sightseeing. We did see one at the beginning when we get the house. Your crystal eyes And I want to see your smile So that was a nest of the Komodo dragon. Apparently, there'll be two holes in there. One's used for distraction, camouflage, and the other one's what they hide the eggs. Apparently, the mama will eat sometimes the uh, babies because, like the tour guide said, not a very good parent. So, um, usually daddy will protect them. And they'll try to escape as soon as they're born. But it's just a big hole. They said they used birds. Um, will be the ones that help create those um, nests back there. So let's continue. So we hit the mother load. It turns of the Komodo dragons right behind me just chilling by the water. Saw so one eat something. I don't know if it's a rat or what it was. But there's a little line here in the sand that we're not to cross for safety but these things are huge <laughs> like big dinosaurs very very cool So the trip is over. That was fun. We got to walk through the forest or the woods. We got to end up seeing a whole bunch of Komodo dragons by the little waterway, which was really awesome. Now we get to go to where? 
exit, which is near the souvenir shop. But as always, just like Disney. <laughs> we stopped off at the little shops, um, bought a couple things. Got me my little keychain, a little Komodo dragon, little eyeballs and stuff. His mouth's open. So a little trinket. I like collecting my little keychains everywhere I go. So that was kind of cool. They say to negotiate here in Indonesia and pretty much everywhere else when we go to these markets, but in Indonesia they seem to start their prices very, very expensive for some of the things. We even saw $45, I believe, for this tiny wooden um, Komodo dragon that you could tell was really cheap, like maybe $5 anywhere else, and they're starting up, so. But. We had a good time here in Komodo Island. We were able to see some dragons, which were really cool. And those things, like I said, are huge. But if you do come here, they say, you know, uh, during early in the day and, and more in the afternoon, when it's less heat is when they like to be here. You got tons of uh, locals out here trying to sell you little trinkets. They're on the beach, their little boats are out there. The water is really pretty out here. I don't think I'd get in the water mainly because besides worrying about the sharks, I have to worry about, oh, that's right, the Komodos uh, actually swim. So two, a double threat, I have to worry about, about when I go into that water. But it doesn't seem to uh, bother the locals, so the, they're pretty comfortable in there. So we got back on the ship. I think we're only here for another 30 minutes, maybe an hour total um, before the ship leaves to the next location, which is Australia. I always had that on my number one places I wanted to go to was always Australia. Um, it was one of my top ones. So super excited, we'll be in Darwin. We'll be the next location. Anyway, safe and sound, hot, hungry, thirsty. Make sure, like they told us, bring water. Wear, like I wore this tank top. Um, it has a big old California bear on it. So definitely be prepared, sunscreen, bug spray, water, hats, sunglasses, bring all those things if you're gonna come to Komodo Island. It's totally worth it. Had a blast here in Komodo Island. If you have a chance, definitely come here. I know there's a pink sands beach, which I would love to collect sand from all the different types of beaches in the world. The golden sand beach, the black sand beaches like you see in Hawaii. This one has the pink sand beach. I've been to a couple of ones, but I haven't been to uh, pink sand beach, which would be really cool. So maybe next time, if we ever come back, we don't need to see Komodo dragons again. We haven't been there, but we will definitely, if we come back, go to the pink um, sands beach, which is in one of the surrounding islands. You take a little excursion out there. So yeah, you all have a wonderful day. I guess next time I see you, we'll be in Australia, mate. See you soon.